One of the greatest applications and probably the most frequently asked is what about communication? How can the MBTI personality type really help people to communicate better? And that's a great question. When we look at it, it really is going to depend a lot upon the dominant function and what that dominant function, whether that is an introverted or an extroverted function, really is going to imply how this particular personality type is going to communicate best. The ISTJ has a sensing dominant function and the ISTJ really is going to respect and rely on that internally stored data that they have about reality and about actual events. An ISTP has a thinking dominant function. They logically are going to organize great amounts of data, which is very specific. And it's going to be very specific about the material world that surrounds them. ISFJ has a sensing dominant function. They respect and rely on a great quantities of internally stored data. They're able to assimilate and hold on to that data very quickly. But their data is more about people and especially the people who are most important to them. An ISFP has a feeling dominant function, which lives by those strong inner values. They love harmony, remember, and they're especially going to appreciate any kind of inner value that is related to honoring people and nature. Moving on to our introverted intuition personalities, we can see that they have different dominant functions as well. And INTJ focuses more on that intuition as their dominant function. They rely on a very clear and complex inner picture of their present and of future. They like to look at what might be, you know, coming up. An INTP has a thinking dominant function and they're going to organize very complex information and they're going to be able to assimilate and put that into global systems and they do it all in order to better understand the entire world. Whereas an INFJ who has that intuition dominant function really relies more on their insights than data. They like to see what insights they can have about people and also on complex pictures that they may have created about the future. An INFP has a very dominant feeling function and they're able to and will filter everything through their core. And this core consists of very deep personal values. And these values are most important to them when they honor individuals. Moving on to our extroverted intuition, remember that these are people who are going to communicate more verbally and they're going to need more time to be able to process verbally. The ENTJ is a thinking dominant function. They like to really direct others decisive. These are great supervisors and natural leaders. They structure the environment in order to achieve all of their long term goals. The INTP, ENTP rather, is going to be more interested in that intuition function. And this is where they're going to scan their environment because they're always looking for new options. And they're never quite satisfied. They want to keep looking and keep searching. They love anything that's new and stimulating and especially exciting possibilities. The ENFJ is very interested and relies upon that feeling dominant function where they provide a structure and encouragement all in order to motivate and energize individual growth for the people who are around them. And lastly, our ENFP, they have an intuition dominant function and they are going to see exciting possibilities. They're energizing and they tend to really try to promote people around them and they are filled with great enthusiasm and energy. Moving on, we look at our extroverted sensing people and these personalities of which there are four tend to really have a variety 
of those dominant functions. And ESTJ relies on their thinking more than any other. They're decisive, they're logic, and they're efficient. And they want to structure their environment to achieve their goals, no matter how specific. And ESTP has a sensing dominant function, and they delight in that great variety. They love variety and spontaneity, and they're going to interact with their world in a very spontaneous manner. And ESFJ, with their feeling dominant function, loves harmony and people. And they're going to act decisively to create an environment that is going to care for the practical needs of the people who are around them. And an ESFP with their sensing dominant function loves interaction. They love stimulation with others. And they're going to embrace a variety of experiences that are related to their sensing dominant function.